Hey guys and welcome back to Let It Die. I did it. I finally did it. I leveled up these freakish, <laughs> freakish shovel gauntlets. I don't even... <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, on a side note guys, starting off 2018, strong, being sick, being... You know what? We're, we're fine. Mind over matter. I hate people like that. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> You're the worst to a person with a shitty immune system. Anyways, guys, today we're going to be covering the shovel, uh, the tactical shovel. Um, we're going to be going over if it is good or not in terms of its combos and its abilities and, and whatnot. And then we're going to be showcasing the mastery of it. Um, then we're going to be showcasing its stats. Then we're going to be showcasing its cost to see if that is at all appealing to you guys. Because that's definitely a huge part in this game is, yes, the weapon can be really cool, but what does it take to make it cool, or even just make it? It's, it's a bit for this one. Anyways. Man, my god! <laughs> my god! My nose! Anyways, guys, so the tactical shovel is uh, something that you attain via the TDM. So how do you acquire this if you are going to want to at least attain the blueprint? How do you do it? Well, it's a TDM reward. So you're going to need to, I think, get at least silver uh, TDM uh, death bags. Um, in order to actually access the blueprint. Um, I got it easily. That means nothing in this game. Um, yeah, I got it. It's just RNG. Open a bag. Hopefully it's there. So yes, if you want the weapon, you're going to have to farm the TDM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, or you can do just do missions to get gold or silver death bags via killing a thousand haters or whatever the heck it asks you in the quest tree. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, also, some of its general stats um, is it's a sharp weapon. It's 100% sharp. It requires 230 strength to get 1,400 durability. Uh, yeah, to me, <laughs> that just means it's very durable. <laughs> it means it's a very durable weapon. Its guard against is S rank. Really? I've never really tried gardening with this. Does that like make you really resistant? Because it, well, it does cover like your entire body when you guard, so it makes sense. Or your upper body stamina D yeah very bad uh, so by the way the archetype that this falls under this weapon is similar to that of the zombie chopper like the huge cleaver <laughs> that weapon also the medieval fire sword that's also a similar um, archetype it hits really slowly but hits so so hard um, now I just gonna, I'm just gonna show it to you guys I'm not gonna give my opinions yet we're gonna be pl fighting against people which will I'll have enough time to tell you guys what the hell I'm talking about it's rage move does cost three but its rage move is very cool in the sense that it is a passive power up. So you activate it and it stays on the weapon for like a good couple minutes. Um, I think it's like a minute. <laughs> it stays on your weapon. Which is really good considering a lot of the special uh, rage moves is like a one shot and then done. Opposed to an amplification of your already base power which I prefer. Anyways. Now. How does the weapon act? How does it melee and do all the things? Well. If we melee. It, it does a huge sweeping, and it only has that one attack. Now, maybe when you get further down the mastery, you'll unlock a second one. Maybe? Although, I don't think that is the case. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? So, yes, it does a huge sweeping motion, and it says it's bad on stamina, but this character is really good with stamina because I got these glasses on. Anyways, uh, so, yeah, that sweeping attack is actually very, very good considering, at least the way I like to play, I like to uh, jump to the left and then jump back in. So... <laughs> There's other things to talk about here. Okay, so when it comes to the smarter AI, like haters or whatnot, uh, facing away from them will activate them to be aggroed. So the typical wombo combo is show your back to your enemy, they'll attack, you'll move a little bit forward to get out of its radius, um, and then you'll either like dash to the left or wait for their combo to end and then jump in and attack. Um, the reason why this is good for me is because I'm impatient. A lot of weapons aren't able to redirect quick enough almost it's almost like they have harder time aligning themselves with me again i don't know but one of the things i like to do is burst away and then jump back in and attack but the slowness of that does come back to bite you in the ass um and that's why in the tool tips for this weapon good old eugene um coming in strong tells us what this weapon kind of should be used for um so what he says is he says to show your back to your enemy and then when they go in for their your, their strike um, activate your attack and then um, instead of just letting it hit that way reassign your character to face forward which is hopefully where your enemy is going to be and then you'll attack that way which is basically like showing them your back allowing them to punch activating it and then reassigning your melee that at the last minute 
Um, and this thing has really good range, so that's kind of how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to aggro the enemy, and as soon as they hit, um, you are able to redirect, and bam. Um, I don't need to explain it. I think just visually, <laughs> you're able to see what I'm meaning. Cool. Now, it's heavy attack. It's heavy attack is good, but I'm not sure how good. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is it. A huge spiral, and that, that is just kind of, it doesn't need to, uh, yeah, it doesn't really take into consideration our other weapon, so yeah, <laughs> just, I just have that other one equipped. Oh, one of the things I didn't see is, can I activate my heavy and then redirect that as well? Yeah, kinda. Um, my only complaint, fuck, <laughs> my only complaint with the heavy, um, is that it will favor to its opposite side. So if you're using it on the left arm, it will favor to the right. Um, so if we aim straight, directly down the toilet thing, whatever, right there, bam! It will favor greatly to the right. Um, so, you'd think in your brain, okay, well that's easy, all I have to do is aim to the left, and wallop, I'll end up in the center. Um, or closer to the center. Sweet! Well, no, <laughs> because, um, I tried doing that, and your character awkwardly locks on to the enemy, uh, when you're doing that, so it's a bit annoying. Even if you're not, like, locking on to them, it passively does it, so. You kind of just gotta move on, I guess. I don't know. Um, but this is actually a good weapon for stuff that I do a lot. Um, is basically, you're booking it through an area, um, and then you're like, Oh crap, I have a ton of enemies on me. I need to get past the door, or I want to pick up this resource. I gotta deal with all these people really fast. So you'll jump over a fence or something like that, allowing all of them to do that. Um, so they're kind of stunned for a second, and then you'll wipe them all out with one huge hit, or one huge, huge swing. <laughs> so that's another way you could use the weapon. Anyways, so that is its base movement. Let's quickly check out the mastery, and then we'll go kill stuff. So I'm not too leveled up in this thing's mastery. I'm at level 10, so I'm able to unlock its its heavy, um, and it doesn't do anything crazy. Um, same thing, Gortastics, uh, power increase, nothing like too crazy <laughs> from my understanding. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't know I unlocked this. And this may change the game. <laughs> Shovel charge. Hold that or that to charge and then use. Huh. <laughs> so the rake, I believe, has a similar thing. Oh, shit. Now what? Okay. <laughs> the distance was decent. I was hoping he'd fly forward, <laughs> but... He kind of just smacked it and... Yeah. So, I, I'm not sure how much that is. <laughs> because the, the pick has a similar function where that's the combination. In fact, let's try to use that combination. Um, but anyways, the uh, pickaxe, or the rake, whatever you want to call it. Um, the wombo combo is you poison the enemy, you let them vomit, and then you'll charge up that one attack and come crashing down. We'll try that. Anyways, <laughs> we're delaying stuff. Is this weapon even worth doing Welcome. in terms of its resource drain? Uh, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> it depends on what you think and what you're willing to do and all that. Massive iron and bolts, it requires four. That's a bit of steel, um, especially considering that's going to have to be the, the least um, of the resources every single iteration. <laughs> uh, aluminum engine parts, three. Again, a lot. <laughs> a lot of that resource. Bone metal, it's just one. <laughs> War assembly, um, it's only one. So it's kind of a different thing. It doesn't ask for like special weird metals like red metal or black metal or, or bone or scratch. Instead, it just goes really heavy in the base resources, which maybe it's just me, but I find it easier to farm like War assembly stuff and bone metal rather <laughs> than engine parts and massive of iron and bolts. <laughs> That's just me though. Also, it costs 8,000 spilithium. Uh, yeah, is that worth it to you guys for what you guys have just seen? Um, at least the base um, animations of, of melee combat, is that worth it? Let's go hit shit. <laughs> let's go beat some stuff up. Uh, let's also buy another one just in case. <laughs> some breaks real fast. Also, guys, ignore all the other things you may have seen. Like the baton? It's another video. <laughs> okay. Great! <laughs> ah! Ah, sweet jeez. Oh, also, I didn't check um, how blocking works. Yeah, <laughs> that looks pretty uh, defensible. I uh, will check that out in a second, because there are certain weapons that are super great when it comes to guarding. I'm um, like, I think the uh, buzzsaw brass knuckle things are great. Wallop. 
Um, so these ones, of course, are bad examples, because you'll just annihilate the world, because <laughs> they're just tubers, but still. Let's charge up. Quickly! Oh, I thought he came down faster than that. <laughs> Never mind. We'll have plenty of time to charge things up. See, let's let's try this. Yeah, that works really well. I, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so definitely that's how you use it, is look the other way, then melee, and then move forward. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, so that's the other weapon that's similar. Definitely the way you're supposed to use it, is look away, and then at the last minute, recorrect. All right. Um, oh wait, let's try that, let's not try that on him, <laughs> that is bad. Although we may need to go that way, <laughs> so you know. I just want to see something, we're charging it up, okay no, but it can kind of work that way. Okay yeah, but you need to have that timing down, okay but it also crit, <laughs> I was like, 3, 30, 30,000, what, <laughs> what? But no, it also crit. We're kind of we're going a little bit too far. Yeah, it's a really slow wind up though. You can't treat it like another weapon. Okay. Yeah, I really like the charging effect. It's kind of cool. Oh, but it's still. I don't have the timing down. It's a slow ass weapon. Damn it! <laughs> Oh, by the way, it's heavy. Yeah, you see, it, like the way it's not accurate when it goes forward is a bit odd and annoying. Yes, finally pulled it off. A double. <laughs> it was with a tuber, but still. All right, that is it again. Some trash mobs. <laughs> let's go fight some something with actual teeth. Um, let's go to floor uh 16, and then we'll jump to floor like. Uh, 23 or something like that. Alright. Let's do it. And the reason why we're going in this order is because I don't think... This one is, I think, grade 4. Um, and it does the same damage as, like, a, uh, a chopper, <laughs> I think. Like, a zombie chopper type thing. So, yeah. Alright. 7,000. I'm gonna hold held it down for, like, a second. Hmm. Okay, well, actually, this is, like, the perfect place to check out my theory on, like, stacking up enemies. Yeah, there's another one right there. Great. All right, let's do this. Uh oh. That's oh, something. We, uh, a lot of them are ranged people. It doesn't help me. <laughs> it doesn't help me what I'm going for. All right. This kind of works. I'm gonna get sniped right in the chest. Yep. Oh, you missed. Oh, you're bad. Just, gonna, just getting ready for him. Just wait for it. Bam, bitch! <laughs> 16,000. That's pretty insane. He's having none of it. He just left. <laughs> okay, well, we don't need to kill them anyway. Man, I love floor 20 and down. That was just awesome. I also like the carnival, except the carnival is just mean. Like, floor 30 and down, they're just evil. <laughs> it's just like, ah. Like, that's when the game starts to feel like it's torturing you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, this is perfect. Oh, look at that wide radius. Okay, yeah, this thing has a huge radius. <laughs> I didn't think it was that big. I didn't think I'd get this guy over here at all. Huh. Oh, that was weird. I was holding it down, but he still did a sweep. He didn't do, like, an up-down strike. Huh. Oh, yep, that's the problem. Ah, this is a bad idea. I shouldn't be doing this. Should be playing with this fire. Oh, I thought. Oh shit, guys! I didn't. Ah, <laughs> I was trying to poison him so that I could do my wind up, and yep, <laughs> he wasn't wearing any armor. I, uh, I panicked. <laughs> yeah, well, there's not too many more enemies, so we could reset the level. Or we could just say that's good. <laughs> we could just be like, fuck that. <laughs> We're done. Can we get away with this, you think? Alright, this is max damage. Okay, so almost like 20,000. That's not bad, I think. <laughs> Guys, the world of, like, doing the appropriate damage and whatnot is very new to me. <laughs> it's very new to me. So, <laughs> I'm not sure how 
how like what the proper scale is I just just got the point to the point where I now have a good enough armor we'll talk about it in another video but I maybe maybe <laughs> got out of the got out of the doghouse that I wasn't even supposed to be in but hey <laughs> hey as of what I kind of think of the armor ah uh, I don't know again to me seeing like the cost of resources is always a huge part of it so like when I see that it uh, it costs like a bunch of other things I just don't have and I have to also it's random right <laughs> I, I could just spend some time in certain areas and just jumping floors and hopefully finding said resource I feel like the resources is com in comparison to like other things the new refined weapons always cost like eight other things I'm scratching my back not my ass <laughs> okay just to clarify I kind of want to see I want to see how the the wind up um, is for like an an, an enemy that actually has a ton of health like is is that a lot <laughs> I don't know is it like 15,000 a lot given the charge up rate? I have no idea. Also, we still haven't blocked against anyone. This is actually like the floor range. I think this weapon is supposed to be in. It gets kind of finicky, but maybe? I don't know. Um, well, like, the thing is, is that this... Okay, so let's say this. This does 350 and it hits pretty quickly. And this doesn't, and it does 500. Okay, so I think that's, yeah, it's about, about here. Or maybe a floor above. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I have two gunner ladies. Can always use some more bullet metal. Bam! It's super slow. It's definitely meant to be a counter for like being attacked, not necessarily your attack weapon. That I think is for weapons such as these, or these. Maybe not that one. <laughs> that one is a bit of a wind up, but it's worth it, guys. Also, bam! <laughs> I got it. It took so long. <laughs> it took so long to get, and it'll kill me inside if I use it. And it's like. It's just okay. <laughs> I'll be like, oh no. Hey! Look at me! Look at me! Bam! What? <laughs> Shit, really? A single punch was able to remove all that momentum. What a shitty thing. Yeah, the range is surprisingly good. Oh, but it's not able to one hit you guys. What is its execution, though? All right, <laughs> you just buried, you just bodied someone, <laughs> quite literally, <laughs> it's amazing. Um, all right. Yeah, no, even then, like with fast, fast hitting weapons, you still need to prepare a lot in advance. There we go. Cutting a little bit closer, I'll be honest. <laughs> um, I want to find someone with like a broadsword, something that is like very good at like dismantling you. Uh, but no one has weapons right now. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the way you can just spiral, spiral around so quickly. Uh, we do not need wool, we do need cotton. But last, that's not cotton. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait, what do you have? Oh, you have a machete. I don't know if I want to fuck with that. Oh my god, I did not know that was a thing. <laughs> I, didn't, I had no idea. Roll! Alright, puke? No, you're healing! Of course you have healing! Why wouldn't you? This is me betting a lot on this. Oh, but I hit you for- what? What is life? Hey. Alright, well, I have my second life. Uh. Why do you open up? Now let me puke. I'm gonna vomit on your body. Yeah. <laughs> so, when the going gets tough, I'm just like, and nope, <laughs> and nope. Whoop! Oh, I tried to block! <laughs> Damn it. That would have been a pretty good enemy to, like, block against. Um, yeah, I don't really. It's nothing like. Blocking against fists is nothing. <laughs> so, it's, like, not a good thing, a good depiction. Anyways, this gives me a ton of durability, apparently. It doesn't. It doesn't do that. I don't think it is. No, it does. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the other one's gold. Go it's like a huge jump <laughs> from silver to gold. See that? <laughs> a huge difference. <laughs> uh, isn't this going to spawn enemies? No. Did we kind of just do this whole level? No, we still got some more. We still got some more going. All right, that I wouldn't mind. Yeah. Hey, stop glitching. I'm over here. Come here. All right, let's block against this. See what happens. 
Not a single bit of damage. It also doesn't hurt them, <laughs> but still. Oh, we're gonna have that cool thing again. Amazing. Man, you know how hard it is to get a thumbnail? <laughs> that was perfect. That's why I'm like, <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, as of the resistance, it seemed good enough. I don't really block ever, <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's like all that good. We already did, we already killed like the big baddie. I'm trying to get to a, a part where I can like uh, try to hit all of them at once. This is the end. Not quite what I was looking for. I'll be look at this. Rage move. Now it's leveled up. Oh come on, let me hit. Let me hit. Oh, let me use my heavy hit. Okay. You guys can't really see it, but it is like steaming and shit, and that's its rage move. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you really get good at timing that, you could probably make this thing formidable. I'm not sure if I have the will <laughs> to to last all uh, throughout all that, but hey, <laughs> very cool. Uh, let me get some of my durability back. Not on this, but on this. I'm being really inefficient here, but ah. Uh, <laughs> I think at the very least, this is a good, fun weapon, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure, like, it de completely depends on you if it's worth it to level it up and whatnot. Um, it also completely depends on you if, if you like the way it works, like maybe you don't like having to wait for the enemy to attack and then counter. I definitely think this is like a heavy counter weapon. Um, also, it's very, very strong in blocking. I'm not sure if, if that's like a, a sought after stat, <laughs> maybe. We had like no damage applied to us when we blocked, so there was that. Uh, but also, I don't like the fact that it eats away durability on our weapon. I'm kind of just like, nah, <laughs> I'd rather hit someone and end the problem rather than outlast it. It's rage move I'm in love with. Again, I love anything that's not just like, hey, here's this burst of power. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think it eats, like devours uh, durability when you use the rage move. Which is extremely welcome, because I hate that. Like, you don't want to use a rage move and be like, and now my weapon is almost broken. <laughs> like, that was so not worth it. Like, that's my biggest complaint about the baton, is its rage move just eats away at, uh, at what do you call it, the, the weapon itself. And I'm like, well, what the hell's the point? <laughs> I'm never going to use it then. Um, also, you can get, like, hit out of the rage move and uh, lose out on all of the, essentially the baton. It fires up fireballs. I'm in a radius, and if anyone taps you, it it shoves you out of that uh, that fireball storm, um, ending it. And you're like, not only did I just destroy my durability, but now I also don't even get the damage of it. Fuck this. <laughs> it's bullshit, man. But guys, I will leave that on to you, what you think of the weapon, if it is worth your time or if it is not. I don't know. I like it, and there's these moments like that we had throughout this video where I'm like, we just took out like two people at once. <laughs> we could have taken out three, but then there are moments where, uh, what do you call it? We're fighting uh, the like the, an equally a slow or a slow hitting weapon. Um, but I think there's also some stuff that's messed up in that regard. Like when we fight someone, not with the katana, sorry, with the zombie chopper, like the huge cleaver. When we're fighting someone, when we're fighting an AI, that's a clever AI with that. They somehow know how to do the perfect timed stuff where if you perfectly like use the combination you can do something special and it's just real annoying um that the ai can pull that out of their ass when 90 percent of players it's like a really finite combo if you guys don't know i should mention this um with most weapons if you're able to perfectly time the way it hits and it's typically with these slower hitting weapons um if you're able to perfectly time uh, like press wait a little bit then press um, they'll do like a secret attack, which is like a huge leap forward or something, but it's super hard to pull off But the AI always pulls it off and it's like That's not a thing. <laughs> it's not a thing that people do Anywho, maybe all players just holding these these people back <laughs> from being amazing I don't know that was the tactical shovel acquired by the TDM has a hefty amount of resources that you need to actually level it up uh, Maybe maybe not. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, um, but I think it's fun. I think it's a weapon that is also very specific in how you use it. It's not like a, a machete or even a bat where they're kind of just like you can keep hitting and you'll keep moving forward and you're eventually going to hit your target. It's it's more of like a counter weapon to where you need to look away. I um, mean, if you guesstimate the, the distance of their attack, you can perfectly turn around and wallop them for a pretty good amount of damage. I mean, from my understanding, the recovery... No, there's a bit of hang time when you're, when you're swinging. 
Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. As of the charge up, yes, but the charge up is only good if you ha also have like charge up weapons are really only good if you have a counter thing, so like a poison effect or like a, st a stun shroom or something, or maybe you just get really good at timing the enemy's movement because that's a decent amount of distance. Let's do that again. And yeah, you know you do walk a good amount. You walk like a step and a half. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I was just waiting for that for them to get too close. This thing does have a stupid amount of range. I don't know. I just, I'm just here to showcase it because <laughs> I didn't see many videos covering the specific um, badass tactical shovel. Um, again, play the TDM if you want the blueprint, and then decide if you want to actually invest in it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan Endor Frost. Subscribe button above me. Two videos to my right. I appreciate you guys for your time. Um, and bye, guys.